YouTube. What is good? It's your boy Q from Next Level Reefing, and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you for all the love and support. I show do appreciate it. And with that being said, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you can be notified of every video that drops, which is every single Friday. All right, so let's dive into it. So I originally wanted to do a review for this video, but because of this uh, pandemic situation, um, orders online have been delayed or canceled or something's going on. So um, I had to take this video to another route. So, and you guys know me, I'm always doing some type of research. So with that being said, I got stuck in this rabbit hole of what is called head lateral line erosion. And to be quite honest with you, I don't even know how I came across this title, but I'm glad I did because it made me understand and get some knowledge of why Scar looks the way he looks. Now, if you guys don't know who Scar is, make sure you look at the first video that I dropped about the Waterbox Dream Tank build. And I kind of dive in a little bit of how he got his nickname. So uh, Scar is the purple tang. Now I have a couple of B-roll shots of uh, Scar so you can kind of get an idea, but I couldn't get really a close uh, capture of him because every time I got closer to the tank, like he would dip off somewhere. So I, I got a couple of photos um, of what this lateral line erosion is. So head lateral line erosion is basically a disease that stems from the lateral line that fish have. The lateral line is a tube running just below the surface of the skin along the sides of the body, usually marked externally by the series of pores that open out through the scales. So after spiraling down to this rabbit hole of this uh, research that I was doing, um, they're saying scientists haven't really had any rhyme or reason as to how and why uh, this comes across uh, fish so some of the possible causes they said were uh, poor water quality, uh, stress, um, high nitrate levels, uh, parasite infestation. And I also saw that um, tangs are one of the main uh, fish that actually can get um, this type of disease. They also said that the main um, possible cause of this disease could be lack of uh, food nutrition. So lack of vitamin A and vitamin C. So the two main things that I kept seeing popping up as far as uh, nutritional foods for the fish to kind of uh, eliminate this disease was uh, this item called Marine Vita Chem for Aquariums by uh, Boyd Enterprises. Um, basically it's kind of like a wet solution that you pour over the food that you already have so you mix it and blend it in so that way it can actually get soaked up in the food that you're going to feed them and then um, the pellets that I saw was a uh, new life spectrum so the dope thing about that is I'm already feeding them the new life spectrum and I'm already seeing um, some differences uh, with um, Scar so he's not as bad as he was when he was in the 20 gallon um, but it's still um, visible so then I went on Amazon and ordered the uh, Vitachem for um, aquariums and uh, it actually came in the mail today so I'll give you keep you guys posted on the next video I'll give you an update and let you know how it is because they said it takes um, a few days up to a couple of weeks that you actually see a difference once you start using um, um, this uh, medical substance so uh, we'll see man now on some lighter news um, if you haven't seen by now we finally got a new specimen in the tank the cleaner ras now the cleaner ras was in a, a, a battle with um, a cleaner shrimp so those of you who don't know um, they kind of have uh, similar traits as what they uh, tribute contribute to in the tank so um, both of them actually set up little stations in the tank and they'll uh, clean uh, their tank mates and, and make sure, you know, that their, their, their skin is healthy or their scales. <laughs> uh, 
are healthy. Um, now, I've never had a cleaner ras before, but I have had a cleaner shrimp. Um, and I'll tell you the reason why I may not get a cleaner shrimp uh, this round. I'm not sure, but it's a strong possibility that I might not get a cleaner shrimp. So when in my 90, 90 gallon, when I had the, the cleaner shrimp, every time I put my hand in the tank, he would try to nibble on it. Now I know that's, you know, that's what, that's his thing. You know, that's what he does, but I'm not trying to get nibbled on every single time I put my hand in the tank, you know, <laughs> not that dude, sorry. Um, so with this cleaner rasp, I, you know, did my research, you know, watched some videos, did some data digging, and I saw that they, you know, as a rasp, now this is actually my first rasp period that I've ever had in my own personal tank. So it's, it's a twofer for me. Um, so I wanted to make sure that of course the rasp was reef safe and I wanted to have some sort of, uh, benefit. I want him to do some work in the tank now. Um, and I saw, I came across this cleaner rasp and I saw that, you know, he did the same thing that the, uh, cleaner shrimp did. And I was like, you know, why not? And it was an inexpensive fish. It wasn't too expensive. So I gave it a try and man, I love this guy. This, this guy has, uh, super character. Um, I would have thought it took him a while to get acclimated and used to his tank mates, but nah, he, he fit right in. <laughs> He set up his station, I want to say, less than 30 minutes of being in a tank. And everybody else loves him. Like, he didn't get in any fights with anybody. Like, he is a cool cat. So, I'm, I'm, this was a good purchase. Um, and to see, I wish I would have captured the moments that he was actually setting up his station. But I keep forgetting to, to, you know, pull out the phone and record. You know, that's my bad. You know, I'm working on it. Um, but, yeah, he, he set up his station. And, you know, the funny thing is... Um, so I, I can notice that sometimes the fish kind of get a little agitated. You know, they do a little flicker of the tail or whatnot. You're like, get off me, back up. You know, and then <laughs> it, it's it's a sight to see, man. I, I love seeing this. And um, the other good thing too is um, they want to say that to make sure that the cleaner wrasse has, uh, you know, a, a well-balanced diet. And I really lucked out on this fish, man. He eats everything I put in the tank, well, whether it's mice or shrimp, whether it's um, seaweed or uh, the, the the pellets. He eats everything. So I, I'm blessed, man. I'm, I'm glad um, that he's doing his, uh, his duty in the tank. I'm glad that, you know, it's working out, that he's healthy. You know, he's swimming everywhere and, you know, I'm loving everything. So I'm hoping that I can do what I really wanted to do for my next video and everything uh, comes in before um, next Friday. So that way I have enough time to um, give my thoughts and, and, and review on what's to come. And you guys don't be afraid to leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see uh, for these next videos. Um, I, I got ideas, you know, but it might not be what you guys want to see or it might be what you want to you guys want to see. So, you know, like I'm, I'm love engaging, you know, uh, with my people's uh, learning from different um, people's perspectives, you know, because everybody, you know, has different ideas. I can't come up with everything, you know, so um, I think with this hobby, man, it, it, it's a very great hobby to be in because everybody like I say in the beginning, man, has love and support and nothing but, you know, good intentions. So um, I'm, I'm eager to hear what you guys, you know, have in mind. Um, and like always, I appreciate y'all for the love and support. Y'all be easy.